Right, so I had a video ready for Monday, and then suddenly Darktable 3.0.2 released, so I figured, why not make a video about that? Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rico Richardson and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is all about helping you guys edit your photos and your videos professionally, but for free. And in this episode, I'm going to take you through the changes of Darktable 3.0.2. The first change is that you can now add a name to one of the modules. So you can basically customize it. You can do so by hitting control and then or command on the uh, Apple and then click on the module and then give it a name. So let's give it test, hit enter, and now you see color zones test. And that can come in handy when you're going to edit, let's say the plant in the background. So I'm going to work on the colors of this plant. Now I know that this color zones is the plant. And if I use a new instance, I can then give this a customized name as well. And I'm going to change the one to the camera. And now I know I've got two color zones modules, one for the plant and one for the camera. Darktable now allows you to use a bigger vignetting scale. I'm not quite sure why you want to do that, but let's zoom out and let me activate that. And you can just make it so, so large. Uh, this is the tiniest one. So here you have the vignetting with the dark spots on the side. And now we can move it all the way up to 200% to have an amazing big vignetting. You can now add pseudo presets to your white balance module if you pick user modified. So that's a great feature as well. In the crop and rotate module, two changes have been made. They have to do with the control and the shift button. I've put it on freehand right now and I've already cropped the image a little bit. But watch what happens if I hold the shift. If I hold the shift, I cannot move this horizontally, but I can only move this vertically. And then when I hit the control, I cannot move this vertically, but I can move this horizontally. And that's the change that's being made to the crop and rotate module. One of the biggest changes in my opinion is the change of the blend modes, or basically they have been categorized. So if we open up the color zones module and then we click the uniformly button, you see that the standard blend mode is normal. If you click it before the changes, you just saw all these names, but now they've categorized it into normal indifference modes, light modes, darker modes, contrast enhancing modes, and color channel modes, which means that you use these three to lighten the image, these three to darken the image, and then these six or seven, six, yeah, six to uh, enhance the contrast. Let me go back. And then we've got some color channel modes as well. And I'm very pleased with that because that explains the user what the modes are for and what you can expect from using the different blend modes. Those were the changes of Darktable 3.0.2 in comparison to 3.0.1, the one I've been using before. I hope you guys like them. If you've got any questions about them, I'll put a link to the uh, GitHub download in the description down below. Uh, feel free to contact me in the comment section with your questions. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time, doei!